Hello, this is Rachel Rehart with Pure Photoshop Actions. I'm just going to quickly um, do a quick tutorial on start to finish how to install Actions in Elements using Windows. Um, and I'm also going to, we're going to be showing how to extract uh, everything from extracting the file through rebuilding your database. Um, so first off, extracting the file is really quite simple. Um, I'm going to extract this file, Pure Haze for Photoshop Elements. Uh, I just right clicked my mouse. Um, so I used my the right hand button on the mouse. I right clicked it. It brought up this dialog. I'm going to go to extract all. I click extract all. It brings up this dialog. I click extract. And now what it's done is we have Pure Haze for Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's made it a folder up there. So it's extracted. So now it doesn't have the zipper and I can access um, these different files. Oh, that was the Photoshop one. But yes, so anyway, basically it will, um, here we go, that was one that it extracted. Um, okay, so we have the actions and the PNGs, they're all extracted and ready to go. Um, and the other one, it would not have loaded because they were all compressed so that they would, and they're zipped together so that they can easily be delivered to you in a smaller format and so that they, it's not a multiple download. Um, it just keeps it tidier but it's not usable in this zippered format. So make sure that before you do anything, you extract your files. Okay, I'm going to close my Photoshop elements for the moment. I'm going to come here. This is how we uh, save, a fa uh, or how we save our actions in elements, how we install them. So we're going to come over here. The first thing we need to do, if you've never installed actions before, this is critical. You need to come over here and you're going to type folder options. We have folder options. Oops, just a second. Oh, that is my recycle bin. My son likes to download these. Um, see, as you can see, he downloads all these awesome like Power Rangers and puts them on my work computer. So you guys get to see my awesome Power Ranger collection. Go me! Okay, so right here we have our folder options. We're going to come over here to view. Um, mine is already toggled. If you've never done this before, yours won't be. But you see hidden files and folders. So this is in our folder options. We typed it in down here in our search bar. It brought up our folder options. And we brought we came over to the view tab. That's the second tab. And for me, I yours will if you've never done this before, yours will say don't show hidden files, folders, or drives. Mine, I've done it before, so the radio button has been clicked to show hidden files, folders, and drives. That's critical. Make sure that you click to show hidden files, folders, and drives. Otherwise, you'll be missing one of the folders that will get you to what needs to be done. So we click OK. Um, you'll also click Apply and OK. Um, anyway, uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to go to My Computer. Um, and now I'm going to go, um, let's see, to my C drive. Now you see I've unhid, see how all these look like they're, um, you know, regular folders. And then we have these little ghost folders. Well, they used to be hidden. So that's how we know they used to be hidden. So this one right here called program data used to be hidden. But now we've gone to our C drive. Now we've opened up program data. And there it is. So we can open program data. Now we're going to come over here, and it's usually right at the top because thankfully Adobe, starting with A, we're going to come to Adobe, click that open. We're going to come to Photoshop Elements, click that open. Uh, you're going to, mine is 9, that's the one I have on this computer. Um, so I, we're going to just come over and you'll be able to do whichever number yours is. If you have 6, 7, 8, or 9, click on that one. You're going to come to Photo Creations. Then you're going to come to Photo Effects. And here is where you're going to put in your different uh, different types of actions. As you can see, I've installed a lot of different actions. Um, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to bring in, uh, I think I'll install, I don't think I have tested, uh, we have a new black and white. So I'm going to install it in here. Um, let me... Uh, just quickly open up my computer, or you know, I'll just I'll reinstall the the hay set in here. Um, let me see. Actually, I think I put it. 
I save these in the strangest places. Okay, so navigate to where it is that you've saved your things. Um, so pure haze, let's see. I didn't want it quite that big. Okay, okay. so we'll use this pure haze that we just did. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're going to come down over here. We have our photo effects. Now what I'm going to do is we want to make sure, see I don't have the folder. I've opened up the folder. It's just the action files, the ETNs, and the PNGs. Nothing else goes into this. So I click on this. I click on the first one. I hold down shift and I click the last one and it selects all of these. I need to make sure I have all of these. I'll grab this last one. I will drag it. Notice how I'm saying uh, I'm going to hold down control so it copies it. That way I have a spare backup just in case something happens to my actions. I still have this file in a different location. That's really kind of critical to make sure that you have a backup copy of your actions because things can happen. Adobe can corrupt files, but I can always come back and re-add them. So I'm going to copy these to photo effects. I say, okay. So it's dropping these in here. Oh, you know what? I already had it in there. So I'm going to say, okay, um, that's fine. Copy and replace. Yours probably won't do that. But now I've added all these into here. Um, now what I need to do is rebuild my databases. Um, you know, you don't always have to do this, but I find that a lot of times I do need to do this. So I'm going to come into here. I'm going to rename my database. I'm going to click on the database. As you can see, I've renamed my databases here. I like to just name it. So I click here on this side of the period, and I'll write today's date is August or August 25th. I'll type that there. Uh, so that's the first database. It's in. The path is computer, like so it's in your computer, your C drive, program data, Adobe, Photoshop Elements, and then 9 or 8, 7, 6, depending on which version you have. So this is in your folder right before photo creation. So if you're in photo creations, you could just click back so see, here was our photo creations and photo effects. Let's go back to where we were. So we went back photo, photo effects, photo creations, nine. We renamed our database to August. You know, I, I named it August 25th. Now I'm going to go into locale. Say, okay, locale, E-N dash U-S. And I'm going to name this database as well. So let's see. I know I don't want to open it. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Don't want to open it. Um, There we go. I'm going to rename this database right here, and I'm going to name this one August 25th as well. You can also just delete them. I just keep them, I don't know, I could probably just delete it. But, um, okay, so we have these databases right here. Now what this is going to do is this is going to force my elements to rebuild my databases. So this part may take a little while. Um, so we're not going to wait around for the whole time. I'm going to say, okay, edit. Right now it's gathering information. I'll show you what happens. Uh, it's going to bring up my editing palette. It might actually take it. It can take it even sometimes up to 30 minutes. I have a lot of action, so, you know, that could be well be the case. But it's going to start, see how it's thinking. It's got the circling. It says building contents and effects. It's rebuilding that database. It's gathering all the information for my actions um, that I've put in there. It can take a little while. It can take, you know, even 30 minutes. Um, some people with a slower computer said it can even take longer than that. When this is going on, I usually try to just walk away from my computer. I don't like to touch it or anything because sometimes... Uh, it can just be really, really touchy. Um, there's been times I've been completely fine just walking around and, um, you know, still working on my computer, but I, I try to stay away from elements. I don't want to click around on it. I want to let it have all the time that it needs to rebuild the contents and effects. Um, Anyway, this may take a little while, so I'm going to end the tutorial here. But that's how you're going to install your actions in Elements. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. And uh, we hope you have a good time using your actions. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.